Some people say a child's birth is the most wonderful thing you could ever witness. But what if I told you that child turned out to be the world's most famous child? Oh, I'm sorry, my apologies. Where are my manners? My name is Isaiah. I'm a shepherd. It's a pleasure to meet you. Now let's see, where was I? Ah yes, I was telling you about the world's most famous child. But not just any child. This child was sent down from heaven to do something quite amazing and ultimately change my life forever. Let me tell you all about it. I say ah! Where is this boy? I say ah! I say ah! Yes, father, I'm coming. Isaiah, there you are, son. Who are you? I'm sorry, father. One of the baby sheep ran off from its mother. I tried to catch it before it got lost or got caught by a wolf. Hmm. Are you sure you didn't want to play with your friends like you did last time? No, it really happened. You can see from the scars from my knees. Oh, I see. Well, you story check this time, but come on, let's go. Let's gather the chips, and then we must go to the tent. Yes, father. That is my father, Jonah. You're probably wondering why we are living in a tent. Well, when I was very young, my father struggled to keep a job after my mother passed away, and my father and I were forced out of our home by the Roman Empire. My father struggled to raise me after that, but he found a job tending sheep. And so now we live outside of the fields just outside of Bethlehem. Father. Yes, son? What is it? Do you ever miss mother? Of course, son. I love your mother very much. And she loves us. Why do you ask? It's just that I was wondering why did God take her away from us? Doesn't he love us? Of course he does. Then why did he t take her away from us and suffer in the Romans' hands? Oh no, son. God did not take your mother away from us. It's just that something, so, sometimes things happen on this earth and there's nothing that we can do about it. But one day, you and I will be with her again. And she will be very happy to see us when we are reunited with her in heaven. I so look so forward to that day. As for the Romans, I wish I had a better answer for that. But I don't know this. When we ask God to guide us, we always he always has a purpose for everything that happens in our lives. Even if we don't know uh, what is at that time. In all things, we should trust God. You really believe that? Yes, I do. Thank you, Father. I needed to hear that. You're welcome, son. Now, I think it's time uh, for you to go to bed. Ah, oh, really, Father? <laughs> I thought we had a good moment there. Well, we were. But uh, it's still time for you to go to sleep. Okay, then. Good we night, have Father. a busy day tomorrow, remember? Good night, Father. Good night, son. Oh, that father of mine. So hilarious, but so wise at the same time. And I just hope that I could be as wise as him someday. Anyway, the next day I went into the town of Bethlehem with my two best friends Josiah and Rachel to sell sheep wool to my father's very good friend Esther who had a business selling sheep wool. Hello friends, what do you have for me today? Your favorite sheep wool. Wow, looks like you brought me a lot of it today. 
Yeah, trying to get sheets to stay still while you're cutting their wool is so much harder than it seems. Tell, Tell me, me about, about it. it. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Isaiah. Oh, good morning, Isabel. <laughs> hey, Isaiah, your face is turning red again. Quiet. I think you're right. <laughs> Hi, both of you. It's okay, Isaiah. I like when your face turns red. It looks good on you. Oh, yes. I should probably tell you a little bit about Isabel. She is Esther's daughter. I think she might have had a little crush on me. And if I'm being honest, I might have had the same feelings for her. <laughs> I think it's about time for you boys to be heading home, don't you think? Yeah. Tell your father hi for me. I will. Goodbye, Isabel. I mean, Esther. <laughs> Goodbye. I think he likes you. You think so? Yes, and I think that you like him too. Well, thank you guys for embarrassing me back there. Oh, Isaiah, don't get upset. We were just messing with you. You know it mean no harm. Well, enough of that. Um, I have to ask you guys something. Sure, what is it? What are we doing with our lives? I don't think our lives are all that bad. Yeah, I think we're pretty fortunate to have the lives we have. I don't know. I think that we're meant for something more with our lives. What do you mean? I mean is... What's beyond the little town of Bethlehem? Well, maybe, but it's like our parents always say. God has a plan and a purpose for everything, even if we don't know what it is. My father said that maybe we'll go to the holy town of Jerusalem. I don't know if I want to go there, especially after I heard what happened there a couple of days ago. Are you talking about that guy which uh, came out of the temple and lost his voice? Wait, w what happened? Well, apparently, a man named Zachariah, I believe it was, went into the temple, and when he got out, he could not speak. <sighs> wow, amazing. Amazing, indeed. Who would believe something like that? As if that wasn't amazing enough, later that night, my father and I saw something we couldn't believe ourselves. Wasn't that an interesting story, Father? Yes, son, it truly was. The Lord definitely works in mysterious ways. Whatever God has in store for that man, it will lead to something good. Now, let us give thanks to God for the food He has given us. Yes, Father. May I have the blessing this time? Of course. Dear Lord, please bless the food that, was our, that we are about to eat. And please be with Zachariah, and may, be, may he be able to speak again. I ask you in, the, in your name, amen. Amen, amen. That was a very good prayer, son. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Father, may I ask you a question? Of course. What is it? Well, you always say that God has a purpose for us. Yes, indeed he does. And he also has a, a gift for us as well. A gift? What kind of gift? Oh, it's a very special gift. Well, what is it? Tell me. Well, I'm afraid I don't know, son. But uh, we have to wait for that special gift, even if we don't know what it is. I wish we didn't have to wait to see what it is. I know, son. But God promises it will be both, uh, worth the wait. I hope so. I just that. Uh, wait a minute. Father, look up there in the sky. My goodness, what a bright star. What is it supposed to mean? I don't know, son. You see, what did I tell you? It is an amazing story. We had never seen anything like that before. That big bright star kept appearing every single night. Little did I know just how important that star was going to be. And things just kept getting even more interesting. Isabel, Isabel. Oh, hi, Sarah. Um, what is it? My parents are not here. I know, I want to see you. Oh, me? Well, in that case, what is it? Well, my friends are giving me a hard time. Oh, really? For what? About you. Uh, me? Really? What is it? Well, 
I like you a lot, and I was just wondering if maybe... Look out! Out of my way, little rat! I mean, rat. Are you okay? Yes, I say I'm good. Thank you. What a rude Roman soldier. That's every Roman soldier. Hey, Yuki! Say something! Oh, no, 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 sir. Bene! Citizens of Bethlehem! I come here with a decree from Caesar Augustus. For the first time in the empire, a census will be taken. For this reason, every man and every member of his family is to return to the city of his family birthplace, place. So they could be accounted for. You have one month to obey this decree. Again, you have one month to obey this decree. And rest assured that any resistance will be trattato severamente or delti severely. Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah, thank God my family's from Berlin. Yes, us too. Although the Roman soldier kicked us out from our home. Shh, you don't want him to hear you, do you? I guess you're right. So, what was it that you wanted to ask me earlier? Oh, yes. I, I was wondering if you were interested Isabel! In... Well, there you are. Come, it's time to go home now. Mother, Isaiah was trying to tell me something. Oh, I'm sorry, Isaiah. How rude of me. It's okay. So close. Thank you, Mother. I'm sorry, my dear, but it's not safe for you to be on the streets right now, especially after this decree. <sighs> Okay, I know what you're thinking. Isaiah, you said this was a story about the world's most famous child, not about your love life. Well, let me tell you what happened over the next few weeks. After the decree, travelers came from all over the place. There was no end in sight as to how many people entered the town of Bethlehem. But one day, something amazing happened. Father. Yes, Isaiah? What is it? Have you noticed something strange going on with the animals today? Yes, they seem uh, kind of uh, uh, awkward today. I wonder what it is. I don't know. Look, there's a man and a woman coming. They look tired. I bet they're hungry. Can we invite them to eat with us? Of course. I don't see uh, why not. Yes, boy. Hello, my name is Isaiah. Very nice to meet you, Isaiah. My name is Joseph, and this is my wife, Mary. Hello. It's nice to meet you, too. Would you like to have dinner with my father and I? You look like you need some rest. That's a very kind offer of you, Isaiah. What do you say, Mary? Should we take them up on their offer? We will be honored. Amen. 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 So, where are you from? My husband and I come from Nasser, but we're on our way to Bethlehem so he can register his family. Mm. My son and I are from Bethlehem. Or that was until the, we were forced out of our homes by the Roman Empire. Oh, really? We're very sorry to hear that. Yes, we are. Can you tell us how far Bethlehem is from here? Yes, it's just down the road, that way. Oh, how wonderful. This little one has been kicking me all night. I'm very, very tired. But it's getting uh, kind of late. 
you should be getting uh, on your way to Bethlehem to make it before night. Yes, we should be going. Thank you for the meal. Well, at this point, we're getting to the best part of the story. Let me tell you what happened next. Look, the big bright star is coming towards us. What's going on? Fear not, I bring you tidings of great joy. For tonight, a savior is born, the Messiah, the Lord. This is how you'll know I'm telling the truth. You'll find him in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes in Bethlehem. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace. Come on, let's go. I'm right behind you, son. Guys, did you see what we just saw? Yes, we did. Harry, let's find the, that baby. I think we're headed to the same place. I think you heard about the angels in the field. Yeah. Yes, we want to see the Savior of Bethlehem. Oh, uh, come on, let's go. Isabel, I wanted to ask you if maybe you can go out for dinner sometimes. Of course. I don't know what took you long enough to ask me. Now, let's leave. We don't want to miss this baby. Look, that's where the child is. I think so, Father. Wait, isn't that Mary and Joseph? Amazing! You know them? Yes, we invited them for dinner earlier today. Well look, welcome everybody. Jonah, Isaiah, it's very good to see you guys again. Mary, is this your child? Yes. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to our son, Jesus. Wow, he's amazing. Thank you, Isaiah. Remember when your father told you that God had a very special gift for all of us? Yeah. Well, here he is. Jesus, the promised Messiah, the savior of the world. Now, this gift is not only for you and me, but for all of mankind. Wow. There are three men approaching. They look like kings. My goodness, look at this. Truly, this is your child that we came to find. Let's go. I bring gold for the king of kings. I bring frankincense for the peace of peace. And I bring meat for the Lord of lords. Well, that's my story, and I passed on this story to my children, and they passed it on to their children, and I truly hope that their children will pass it on for many generations to come, where you see, the world's most famous child turned out to be Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Oh, we have to close our eyes. <laughs> 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 CDC! <laughs> For the first time in this empire, a census will be taken! <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah, thank God my family is from Babylon. Us. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Hello, my name is Isaiah. I'm very nice. Ah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Would you like to join my father and I for a dinner? That's very <laughs> It was be pleasure. Wait. Oh, okay. Good night. <laughs> uh, Isabel, I wanted to ask you if maybe you can go out in the <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs>